The Afghan National Police are trying to work with coalition forces in Afghanistan to build what Canadian battle group, military police, platoon captain Greg Lossier called a safe and secure Afghanistan. A meeting between the two sides Saturday has brought them one step closer to strengthening that partnership. With more on this story, here's INN's Jim Kerr. Captain Lozier met with the General of the Afghan National Police, Abdul Malik Wahidi, to discuss methods of training that will ensure that all ANP officers are fully trained and as well discuss ways of supporting Afghan communities and supplying the ANP with police identification cards, something the ANP does not currently have. Because our country is, uh, is fractured, we have uh, limited resources um, and the Canadians have, uh, um, the military police have agreed to produce military or police ID cards for our policemen uh, because we have none um, and so when the forces stop them they don't know if they're police or Taliban or who they are so um, that was one of our concerns uh, at this point is to get an ID card for our policemen and then uh, later on on our equipment and clothing, uh, which the Canadians have uh, um, put in play a way of uh, issuing us uh, our kit and doing the training. But the first step was an ID card uh, so that we could be recognized by the, the forces uh, so we don't have the regrettable incidents that have happened in the past. Uh, um, and we've been assured that this will happen. With the new ID cards and the possibility of updated equipment and clothing later on, the Afghan National Police and the Canadian troops can hopefully begin working more closely for the benefit of the Afghan people. For INN News, this is Jim Kerr, Afghanistan.